Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Uh, since the last video, I've made quite a few changes um, to my base. I'll just quickly show you, and I've done nothing inside the, the greenhouse there. Uh, it's all been out here. Uh, the first thing you probably see is I've moved the furnace, which was here. That is now around here, so that I can actually access it easier. I want to get the ores from the now completed silo storage, so I've got everything being stored now. Um, nitrous water, volatilized oxide have been added. Anything that doesn't get stored in there comes down, and I think I showed you previously comes through into the vending machine. Um, also, I noticed I made an error in the last video. If I can show you something, I had the um, pipe from here going through here out in the back of the furnace. Uh, that has now been changed. I'll probably take a window out to show you this. Let's take a window out quickly. Um, so now I have the... Oh, get over there. Oxygen and the volatiles coming into a fuel mixer and then an analyzer on one single pipe behind the furnace. The reason being when the furnace combusts, it combusts everything in the pipe up to the um, fuel mixer. Um, and also there was a lot of pipe there so I was getting a lot of combustion in the pipe and it was making it difficult to control the furnace so by putting just a very short piece of pipe in with the analyzer on it I can now control this with an IC make sure I have pressure in here up to about 45 megapascals in this bit of pipe um, and when it reaches that, that drop that switches off if it drops below a certain value this turns back on make sure I keep pumping gas into the furnace um, let's put that glass back um, yeah, and then I've also put the uh, in the chute down here and the outlet chute here just to mix a bit easier again. Um, so yeah, it's working really well there. It's working a lot better than it was. So let me just put the uh, iron sheets back on here so I'll weld this back up. So that's probably one of the big changes I've made. What else have I done? Um, so yeah, I've actually enclosed all this now. I put all the signs and everything up. Um, I've actually extended this quite a way. Um, so I've got quite a big uh, flat area on here. I'm going to be putting a um, landing pad up here for the trader. I'm not sure if I can put it on top of these uh, bits here or not. These are just wall parts that I made in sort of the ceiling. Or uh, whether they've got to be frames. So they've got to be frames. I'm going to have to extend out that way a bit. Um, so let's jump down here, and as a result, I've got a sort of big area under here. I'm going to encase all this. Um, I'm probably going to bring my sorting for my oxide and volatiles down here into ice uh, crushes down here, and feed out into the fuel farm, which I'll lay out here. Uh, thanks to those of you who voted. Uh, the consensus is I build on the plains to the west and these are the plains to the west. Um, I've done a bit of work over here, let me see if I can find my little nubbin. So the ground level was actually a little bit above this and I've, uh, I've, I've flattened it because it was a little bit too hilly to build the um, rocket pad on. So I've flattened it all out, all except this part over here. There's some bits here that aren't quite flat where there's ores and things. Um, I did have my Amy bot running around um, Taking a stamp, flatten all this. This literally was doing for a good hour or so to level off this hill. I say, yeah, it wasn't a mountain, it was a hill. And I've leveled it off pretty well, so there we go. Um, yeah, where's that nubbin? Anyway, you had Amy Bot coming up here, collecting all the resources. I can go. Let me just. Oop, there we go, don't need any more. Um, and unfortunately, I've just had a storm. And while I've got Amy back to the bunker, um, or, and I even closed the door, so I've got her back in here, shut the door, but then she decided she wanted to go and stand in this corner. And she must be poking out through the door when the storm damaged her. Literally went to move her, I got about here, and she vanished, destroyed. So I've had to build a new Amy bot, and that is. Um, in my inventory here, so I just need to deploy this new aiming bot quickly. So I've got the aiming bot, CPU, 
battery um, let's rename her let's call her um, it's actually the third one Amy 3 I lost one previously to that and then I need to quickly take up the flooring here and make sure I have the right robot selected no that's right hard suit no Amy bot 3 there we go so that is right uh, let's just put the flooring back down Oop, put it down the drop it um, reset everything and hopefully she's charging 100% turn it back on and it should be off again mining for me go on off you go right there she goes um, let me just check the value in here that's okay and what else have I done so I've also put a st I'll extend this one the stairwell in here to come up on the roof I'm going to enclose all this um, I'll move this stairwell over a bit just to make it easy to get out try to fold an hole and over here I have um, had to add a few more solar cells so I now produce 12 and a half kilowatts of power uh, when the sun is up because I'm burning 5 kilowatts uh, constantly so it's literally during the day, charges up all these batteries and during the night it, it depletes them, not all the way down by any means, but it certainly depletes them. Um, what's that? What's that? Like I say, I've done all the sorting and closure of that, that's done. And I think that's about it really, that's everything I've done. Um, you will also notice that I have, oh, let's put that battery down inadvertently. Why have you come back with nothing? Have you come back with nothing? You come back with nothing, so you need some new coordinates. Let's just guesstimate some coordinates. Come on. So mine one. Let's try 74. Confirm. Export. And if should go off now. Um, yeah, Earth. Uh, what's I saying? Oh yes, the other thing is um, I've created a load of frames. So I can start building the fuel farm as well as some fuel tanks. Um, now these small get my bearings. These small tanks are one take one tank. So it's like that. But there is a big fuel tank which takes five. Uh, there's a medium. Yeah, that's it. Is it two? Yeah, small and large. Yeah, and I intend to build the big tanks. So I needed. 15 tanks, one for volatiles, one for oxygen and one for nitrogen. And like I say, they're all going to be out here. Um, but before I stop building that, I want to make sure that I can build the um, landing pad. Now where's the landing pad done? Is that under you? It's even called a landing pad, I can't remember. Um, Nope. What have we got here? Landing pad, runway, landing pad, basic. Um, let's try building one of them quickly and see if we can lay it on that bit of flooring or whether it has to go on a frame. Let's quickly pop that out. You can go back in there for the moment. Right here. Yes, I can. That looks it, which is good. So that means I don't need to do anything else here. I can build um, my landing pad up here, and it'll be five by five. Um, something else I actually did when I was thinking about it, which I've just come across now, is I've set up a Stirling engine. The Stirling engine will take heat energy and convert it into electrical energy. So what it does, it takes a heat, uh, hot gas input. It has a cold gas input from this side. It uses a um, intermediary gas. Well, in this case, it's volatiles because that's the best one, um, and that's just a canister I fill from my volatile uh, supply. About three megapascals. They go in there. You don't need more than that because it can overpressure. 
Um, you can see the minimum produced a little bit of power. It's not ideal at the moment. Um, I, there's not enough atmosphere on Mars to cool this properly. So what I need to do is I need to put a little room around this with a pump in, pumping cold air constantly in this room, get it with certain pressure, and then another one with a, a vent control or a back pressure control, just to make sure we keep the room in a certain pressure, but there is a constant flow of cold air through it. And then that will produce energy from the output from my furnace and the output from the uh, combustion centrifuge, which is still going. Yep, that's still going strong. Produced lots of fuel, for, uh, lots of ore for me. So that up there works. I know it's going to work. So I want to um, let's just place it in storage for the moment. I don't want to start building that yet. Get ahead of myself. But I do want to start building out my fuel tank, uh, my fuel farm, big fuel farm, which was going to be right here. I am going to enclose this area as well at some point. So, frames, that's what I want. I basically want the fuel, so the ice crushers in here, and the filtration, and then the fuel farm out this way. Um, let's go for four by six at the minute. Go on. Oh, there. Uh, how many is that? That's one, two, three, four. Come on, jump over. Uh, five, six. So you need to fill that in with these and then weld them up. Have I got enough sheets? Oh, probably don't have enough steel sheets. Oh, yeah, I do. I've got 50 there. Yeah, I did quite a bit of prep work for this just to make sure I had a lot of bits that I'm going to need for doing it. Um, okay, you don't sit and watch me just making frames and... Oh, crap. So... God, come on. This doesn't need to be fully sealed, it just needs to be uh, to the first level. I have fully sealed everything in there though. Again, because I'm probably just going to pressurise that. Oh, iron sheet, uh, steel sheet, sorry. I may have to make this a bit bigger, I don't know yet. Let's just see how we get on. This is just a guesstimate. I'll see if I'm uh, encroaching the landscape bit there, I'll have to get rid of that. Let's finish welding it up first. I can go back in my tool belt. Uh, where's my drill? Oh, there it is. You're not meant to be in there, meant to be in there. Let's just pair this back a bit. Um, I should probably have this on flatten. So I'm not uh, digging big holes. A bit like that. More like that. Okay. Now let's quickly fill these holes I made. Because last thing I want is my robot falling into them. It's okay, that's okay. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's see how many fuel tanks we can get in here. So big ones take up a 2x2 two two effectively. I want the pipe to the front here. Don't want to the front or to the side? To the front, I think. And these are insulated tanks. Um, you can see there's not a lot of space between them. I'll get a cable down there and that's about it. And last one. 
There we go, there's our three tanks. Now we just need some paint. Uh, white, black and red I want. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you emptying? What are you doing? Let's go and get Amy some new coordinates. It's obviously not happy doing what she's doing, so... I want her to mine... Oh, go a risk over here. Eighty five minus fourteen. Eighty five minus fourteen. As you see, the base is getting quite a size now as well. Eighty five minus fourteen. Confirm. Export. Off you go. Right, paint red, black, no, oh, it's not black, black, and what's the other colour I wanted? White. Have I got white? What have I got in my spray gun? White already. Okay. I've got any pipes there. I'm going to need pipes as well. Lots of pipes. The insulated pipes, yeah, that's what I want. Nothing else there. So I'm going to have to set you going to producing insulated pipes. Wow, we're going to get many made of four grams of silicon. Still, that's the reason I set all this up. You make up some silicon, close you, not close you, open you, fire you up. Okay, as soon as that's finished, it'll eject it. Silicon and set you going again. Why are you back already? What are you doing? Why aren't you going where you're supposed to go? You know what? I've had no problem with this Amy bot. Every time I go to make a video, you're good nuts. You go out here, and then you hang a left over to there. And you go back in, don't you, first to uh, empty what you've got. So I just want to check what you're doing, but now I'll go and paint the, the tanks and start getting the pipes and things ready. I'm also going to need an atmospheric unit and some nitrogen filters. Yes, you've got nothing to unload. Minus 38. Sorry, 3, yeah. 7 minus 38. Hmm. Let me just check I've closed this lever. Yeah, you're closed. You're open. See what she does this time. It might have been that lever that did it. Um, pipes, yes, pipes, and I can take the insulation and insulate some normal pipes as need be. How many is that? 20. Let's get another 20, and that'll do for the time being. Uh, 
There we go. So we've got 40 pipes. Now I need the atmospheric unit. Got everything I need for that? I do. I'm going to need cabling. Although I've got some cabling on me, I don't know if I've got enough. Probably is not. Right, let's just do this first atmospheric unit. Uh, nitrogen filters. Um, which is a big one's going to be filtering a lot. Invar. Solder, solder, wasp alloy, and canal. I thought I had some invar somewhere. Invar in here. What is that? Solder. Where's it in bar? In bar. Set you going. Skis back in here. And you. That will take a little while to, to manufacture the filter, so we'll get one going. And I'll set the second one, let the second one set going. Oh, what we're out of now is stellite. You're in here, aren't you? No, you're not. Okay, so what do we need for stellite? We need silver, silicon, and cobalt. What ratio? Two of the silicon. I think only four, so I've got to be careful with that. Right. Now, can I get this to the right temperature and pressure? Temperature should be able to... Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. So, let's just quickly vent everything in there. We down to... It's getting to about 500 kilopascal. Not deep. Now bring in the gas, ignite. And silver. So that's degree C, so you've got to add two. Um, 73 under that, so that's actually 1.79, 1.8, so it's high in temperature. What was the pressure? Oh, too high pressure, so let's just everything come in. It has come in. Uh, let's just vent some pressure. There we go. Where are you? You're in here. Let's set you going. Right. Um, well, that's going. At the minute, I'm venting all that gas into an insulated tank before I uh, vent it out to the um, Stirling engine. Right. So. 
You are my... let's check. Check with this one. I think this one's a... Uh, volatiles. Oxide, your oxide, okay. It's your volatiles. Look what... it is, but what am I looking for? What a fool. <laughs> um, so I do need to deconstruct some of this temporarily. This one. So that's our volatiles. Um, sorter there. So that's I'm putting volatiles into here. So I need to. Oh, I don't want to do this. For now, I'm literally just going to. Uh, sorry guys, it's 24 hours later, um, from literally looking up there, I got held up, I had to go and do something, and it's now the next day, and I've got to remember what I was doing. I put my gas tanks down here, I was going to put my ice crushers down here when I build them, and I was just trying to determine when I want to bring the, um, Air tank low. the ice, and the volatiles, and the oxide down, so I think I'm going to have to Looking at this, oops. I'm going Hunter, to just. Caution. Oh, shut up! I'm going to have to. To my hand. Dismantle this one as well, and this one, so I can get up in here and uh, bring the appropriate shoots down. So, I'll take that shoot off. Get up. And uh, the other shoot I wanted to take off was that one. Um, don't want to take it before it's stacked or not. After it's stacked, yeah, let's take it after it's stacked. So it'll only come through and stack to 50 to the ice crusher. So let me just sort out my. Um, Air and water. Quickly run back in here and I'm. Oh, you printed good. Um, I'm gonna need a few shoots. Well, I'll get 11 anyway. So, what am I short of? I'm um, down to 560. That's quickly fixed. You should be 8k, you are. Now oh, I'm in my waste tank while I'm here. Food, I've got food over here. Um, I made another loaf. Because it's quite easy to make and it um, gives me a lot of nutrition. Let's just click to consume that. There we go, now I can go back in there. Um, I'm going to try something that somebody mentioned. I think it's a way of quickly drinking on a water phone and things. So we press Alt while you drink. Or once you start drinking. Not thirsty. Oh, it did it already. So by pressing Alt, we've got instant water. So I'm not thirsty, that's why. So it's a quick way of doing that. I don't agree with doing it. Apparently you can do the same with these. So hold the Alt. It just quickly, everything goes straight into your yeah, backpack. Um, rather than having to wait to the bar going up like that. It's a bit of a cheat. I was aware of it. Um, somebody else had mentioned it to me in the past and I'd seen somebody else doing it so just be aware of that. It is a bit of a cheat. You can hold down the alt left. So you left alt when you do it and you can do things a bit quicker. Um, no, the, dirty, the dirty can wait. It's not going to kill me being dirty. Oh, you can be closed. Um, how are we doing on our light? 59. Just... Come on. What on earth is going on? That's it. A bit too close. Swap our light. And just swap our soup pack as well. 
So we should have that and one more. There it is. And um, what do I need for that? Iron, I believe. Iron, yeah. I've got some iron over here. I think I have actually. Yes, I do. Have any space in there? No, I don't. Hmm. Um, I can stack them. Let me put you back in there for the moment. That and that. And then set them going again. Right, where were we? Yeah, running the... Shoot, so I want to go... Don't block. If you go into a corner like that where there's um, already a two at the um, two shoots can that can connect, it will instantly flick to it and it will turn it. So you've got to come away, rotate to how you want it, and then place it. Just be aware of that. Just a little annoyance. Yeah, window, don't the window, don't corner on straight. Yeah, bring that out two, I think. Come on. And then a corner going that way. And then a straight. Why do I want to bring us down? Probably is around about here. Just bring it down past these two, like that. And I'll probably have my ice crusher here. And my other ice crusher can go. Yeah, probably about there, same place. So this one I want to rotate it so it's. Oh, I'll do that. Oh. Well, I never. I can change my. What's That's plus and minus on the number pad to change in my field of view. I never knew that. Um. Like so. That in there. I've used all those shoots. Bring these ones down. I want to bring it this way. Now I'm straight. Oh, can I put them beside each other here? Jetpack low. Will it let me? Get back slow now, and I need the other shoots I've just printed. So let's go get them. Get back some quick and easy to fix. There we go. Turn you on. Shoots, shoots, shoots. I now need ice crusher. I need more iron. That going to put one at a time. No, I think I want to leave a little bit of a space between these actually. Um, let's get that, can I? Put a straight in there. No, it won't let me, won't let me do the straight, so I do have to come down. Then I could go that way. That way. Then down. And I got my two ice crushes here and here. Um okay, so I can now go well then back up. Whoa! Bit of an eager on the jetpack there. There they are, and my welder. Come on. Is that all them done? It's all them done, so you can go away. So can you. Um, I maybe it's made a few too many shoots, but never mind. I'm sure I've got my um, 
Nice crush already now. Let's just go pick that up. Uh, let's take a shoot in here for a moment. I will need some. I've got seven on me, that'll do. Um, how many is there? Three. Let's put that with them, that'll make ten. Um, print the ice crusher and eject that one. And this one I want to go, so it wants to go. I want to, so it's facing that way with the shoot input hit the back. And it's up against that, so I think it is there I want it. Um, and I need some iron sheets. I think I've got some iron sheets somewhere. What are you doing back here? Go mine. Any iron sheets there? No, I can't see any. I'm going to have to print them quickly. That's some of my good waste. I'll do for the moment. Uh, my other ice crusher. Be easy to take a bit of wall down here, but I can't go and just shoot some things in the way. Yeah, well there, well there, well there, there we go. Now, cables. And screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's it done. So. My second one wants to go there. My sheets again. Welder. Cables. Done. And now my shoots. Where's my shoots? There they are. And my wrench. This will all become apparent in a bit what I'm doing. Come on, drop in, you know what I mean. There we go. So that is our volatiles. So your volatiles, you want to be red. And you are oxide, so you want to be white. But I'm going to white paint on me. What have I got on my... Go oh, yeah, there we go, to my... Paint gun already. No, just so I can get them muddled, muddled up. Okay. Cabling. Oh, we need some cabling as well. And you. And oh, got some pipes. So I'll have to printing that. Let's just go and run some pipes in with my atmospheric unit atmospherics. So that's the oxide there. So I want in out. Let's place it there. That's our gas outlet.
that's all waste, that's all filtered house and air conditioner. Wouldn't idiot I'm forever doing that. Change that. Filtration, there we go. So that's all unfiltered, that's all filtered. So unfiltered will be oxygen to that tank. And our nitrogen will be going into that tank, so to get those cables for now because I'm printing millions otherwise. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to need some more pipes as well. Um, this needs a couple of normal pipes, which I don't have on me. Oh yeah, don't have 14 normal pipes, like that. That, then what does it need? Screwdriver, two cable coils. That's it. Uh, one nitrogen filter. Where's the other one? Two. Oh, power flat to be in there, isn't it? To like make my life challenging for myself. Not to worry, I managed to get to it. Connect the these up. the right way. That's up to there, that to there, that to there, so they've all got power and network. Let's run this out of here. Go the angle that one. Yeah, definitely gonna need a few more cables. There, uh, pipes. This one can come down to here. Okay, so that is nitrogen out that side, which will be black, oxygen out this side, which will be white. Oh, didn't mean to paint that. The whole that. <laughs> okay, that's that done. Have I got black on me? I do. Oh, one more, that one. There we go. And then that can go away. And I need to run the well start running the volatiles pipes in. I'm not gonna get very shocks any more pipes. Insulate the pipes. Yep, so the intention is that this is our fuel foam here and that will be feeding... Oh, it's 
bit difficult with feeding our launch pad up here. And all the shoots I made won't be going to waste because they need to come back to my um, sorting system and storage system. Paint these up. I don't really need to paint these, but I like doing it. So I've run all the pipe work in now around here, through there, into the uh, volatiles tank. I've now run all the cabling in. So these are all cabled together and I brought them around to the own transformer. The other side of the transformer is just connected back to my station main power supply. So they are all now on their own network, which will also go to Launchpad when I build it over here. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Strike by Gamer, wishing you good night.